Now more than ever, we are inundated with information. We notice it when we go online or on social media to see what's up with our family and friends. We want to be in the know, we want to be part of the conversation. But beyond a family connection online, we also find an avalanche of false information. Hello, how are you? I'm Ritu Kapoor, co-founder and managing director, The Quint. I'm also an ambassador for the Factshala Ambassador Program. MediaWise and Factshala are joining forces to show you how social media platforms work, what is disinformation, misinformation, and how it spreads. What are we talking about exactly? Well, disinformation refers to the mass dissemination of false information with the intent to deceive. It may be a political group sharing a manipulated photo about an opponent, their intent to create a false narrative and influence an election. Misinformation also happens when we share false information without being aware of its deceit, without the intention to harm. Your friend may share an article about a miracle cure for COVID-19 wanting to help out without knowing that it's fake and that it could hurt you. Let's face it, sometimes it can be hard to detect what's true and what's false online. Misinformation often contains partial truths, so it's easy to fall into the traps. And unfortunately, lies spread faster than the truth. A study from researchers at Massachusetts Institute of Technology found that on X, false news was 70% more likely to be retweeted than the truth. That's why it's important to be able to tell apart truth from falsehoods, given that misinformation can have grave consequences. Misinformation can influence how we vote, how we treat others, it can also influence our medical decisions. At the end of this journey, you will be able to navigate the internet with more skill and confidence. Thanks for your interest in learning more about this topic and do check out the website to know more.